All right, let's deepen our understanding of median lines and price movement. This is a, a little presentation I scribbled to myself years ago. I tripped across it the other day, and uh, I thought it'd be helpful for us understanding median lines. If you're going to use any tool, any tool functionally, you have to have a thorough understanding of it. So let's start and take this apart. So this is about tools. This is about our median line set. So a median line enables the user to be one of the few who can tell where prices are headed and the place they will reach about 80% of the time. That's a big statement. So why? I don't know. Let's investigate because those statements they're not enough. And by the way, this front page is from Andrew's original course, which is on our website under free resources and articles. So you can just go and skim through it at some point. Pay attention to these five main probabilities of price interacting with the median line. So let's take this apart. Why? What's a median line? All right, so a median line. Let's take the mystery out of it and the math out of it and the geometry out of it. A median line is the relationship between any three alternating pivots, period. Doesn't matter if you're mapping euros, spoos, your heartbeat, the weather, a light wave, a sound wave. Notice this is starting to look like a wave, right? Doesn't matter. This tool cannot not work. You can't do it wrong. It gives you the relationship between any three alternating pivots. And so let's take a look at that first statement that Andrews made. If you're going to have a swing, this is what this is, a swing or a wave. By default, it's going to have an extreme and extreme. It's got no choice in the matter. Think of this as opposites, hot, cold, good, bad, positive, negative, life, death. They're opposites. Now, if you have two extremes, there's something else you don't have a choice in the matter about. And that is, you're going to have to have a center. And this is where the median line comes in. So you stretch anything to, an ex to its extremes, it's going to have a center. And that is why there's a high probability of reaching the median line. So if you think about this, what you have here is, if I do this, now maybe you can see it more clearly as a median line set, right? See, there's your median line set. A, B, C, the relationship between three pivots, extreme, extreme, center. You know, we're also talking about contraction and expansion here. So if we have a wave, and again, it can be a wave of anything, does not, does not matter. Time frame does not matter. Instrument does not matter. This could be your inhale and exhale. If your inhale and exhale has a rhythm, it's going to have an extreme, it's going to have a center, it's going to have a frequency, and it will be able to be measured if you can chart it. So you can't do this tool wrong. All right, Making it functional is another story for trading. It's going to have a process. It means it has to have a beginning, middle, and end. So as we begin to make this functional for trading, one thing that's helpful is to take it apart in process and understand it. So here... The thing has to be born. I'm using a coil here. You know, don't. You can. It can be born from a lot of different places. I just happen to be using a coil. All right. So we want to see this thing unfold because we have to trade in real time. If it's going to be a swing, it's got to start, and you know, it's got to get going here. This is a quarter. Now you have a half. So in real time, you can see the possibility of making another half, can't you? And if you have a possible half, you also have a possible center. And there are clues that price will give you about where that possible center is. So you have a possible center. 
So this is, you know, this is one structure right now. We might call this a mountain structure with the possibility of unfolding into a swing, right? Something else. As time moves on, another quarter, right? So you see it moving in process. And here you have your completed sine wave, a high probability of reaching the median line. Again, it's just opposites with a center. Every opposite has a center, period. You can even think of this as positive and negative electricity completing the circuit. doesn't matter how you think of it or what language you use. Just try to understand it a little bit here. So as we begin to look at it on price, you can see this is what it might look like. So this is me trading a 10-minute um, Oz once upon a time. as I'm following it in process. And you can see this is nothing more than a, a median line. With a high probability of coming back to center. People mistake this thing as some sort of channel tool and that's not what it is. So let's keep on working on our understanding here. So this is later on, you know, as I'm trading and price unfolding and other waves unfolding. And you just see my thinking. This is years ago. This is just notes to myself. I thought it would be a helpful demonstration. Pay attention to this slide. So you see our median line set, right? So imagine this is A, B, C. It's like our median line set. And you can see the circuit complete. Now look at this orange one also. See, look at the dynamic going on here. There's something important to understand about this. See this? It's possible. See it's multi-pivot line. Center, 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 center. Action. Reaction. So you see how a median line set is giving you the relationship of this pivot, this pivot, and this pivot. The upsloper is giving you a different relationship. So uh, a few posts back, I did a post on uh, identifying your swings. Because if you're going to look at the relationship of three pivots, you know, you got to isolate those three pivots. I use the analogy of, you know, how would you go about finding the center of time? Well, that's kind of a silly question, right? But if you wanted to find the center of time, you would have to put some boundaries around it. Decide if you're going to look at the center of a year. Now it's easy. Center of a minute, center of a month. And it's the same thing with markets. See all these squiggly lines? We're looking to isolate, say, swings. And once you can isolate swings, see the sine wave? You can then isolate the relationship between those three pivots. All right, so let's take a look at some markets and maybe get a, another view of this in some recent markets. Uh, I was looking at, say, the oil in the NASDAQ yesterday, but right here I think might be a, a good example. We're looking at the 240 CAD. And see if your eyes can pick it out. Don't worry about the, the upsloping lines, but see if your eyes can pick it out. So at this point, you can begin to see perhaps half of the sine wave or half of the wave here, right? And as price rolls, you can begin to put together the next quarter. And 
this is current today. It actually just just tagged this guy today. And if I were to take this, so place it here, and place it here, you kind of see the median line set, don't you? A, B, C. So we're not talking about trading it right now. We're just tr trying to understand that price moves in swings, in waves. That's all. Price moves in swings. You can chart anything like this. Right? See? You come up with your median line set. Giving you the relationship between any three pivots you use. Let's see if there's an easy one to pick out here. All right, so in real time, it's a little more difficult. But like I said, it becomes easier once you can isolate which waves you're looking at, right? So if I drew a median line set like this, I'm isolating the relationship of these three pivots. See the see the see the, the sine wave come in and complete? If I drew one like this, you see I'm isolating the relationship of these three pivots. And then as I followed that on out, right, I'm isolating the relationship of these three pivots. And you should be able to begin to see within your drawing of this median line the wave. Right? What's well, a little bit harder, but if you understand it, you'll be able to see. the wave as it's unfolding. So for instance here, price might stall. Here, price might stall, right? See, this is our swing. And then You can see I might have half. You can see I might have half. See it? And as Elvis leaves the building, you can see another piece unfold. Right? As this guy unfolds. And then at some point, coming back and completing. Like so. And just to understand our median line set a little bit more. Now, they might not be perfectly equidistant, but I'm trying to give you an idea, right? You see A, B, C. Right, A, B, C. All right, um, like I said, it doesn't matter which swing, you have to have the ability to isolate your swings. 